Welcome to a lesson on quotients and remainders. Quotients are the answer after we divide one number by another. So we have the dividend divided by a divisor, which equals our quotient. For example, find the quotient of 12 divided by 3. Well, if we use our fact families, we can write a related multiplication fact of 3 times what is equal to 12. But we know 3 times 4 equals 12. So that means our quotient is 4. Now let's talk about remainders. A remainder is the amount left over after division. Sometimes numbers don't divide evenly into other numbers. That's what gives us some leftovers or remainders. For example, 19 divided by 5. Well, I know 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 4 is 20. So I'm looking for 5 times what is 19. It's going to be somewhere between 3 and 4. The biggest number that goes into 19 without passing it is 3. And it goes in 5 times, but that only gives us 15. That means there are 4 left over to get to 19. So our remainder is 4. Let's investigate division with place value blocks. Take 644 divided by 3, for example. If we consider the place values, 644 is made up of six hundreds, four tens, and four ones. Next, we want to divide it into three equal groups. If we divide out our six hundreds into three groups, we will have two hundreds in each group. We can divide our four tens into three groups. That will give us one ten in each group and a ten left over, which we can divide into 10 ones and combine with four ones. So now we have 14 ones. We can divide those into our three groups. That will put four ones in each group, but there will be two ones left over. So our answer would be 214 with a remainder of two. Let's try division using an array. 69 divided by eight would suggest we have 69 items and we need it divided into groups of eight. Let's make an array of groups of eight up to 69. That would be eight, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, and then five more to get to 69. Now that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups of eight with five left over. So our answer is eight, remainder five. Now let's try some good old fashioned long division. 1,439 divided by five. First we wanna know how many times five goes into one, but it can't. So let's look at five into 14. We know five times two is 10, but then we'd have four left over. Next, let's drop down the three. That makes 43. We know five times eight is 40, and that would give us three left over. Then let's drop down the nine, that makes 39. We know five goes into 39 seven times, but that's only 35, so that means there are four left over. So four is our remainder. That makes our answer 287 with a remainder of four. For this problem, let's use partial quotients. First, let's refresh our memory on some six times tables and put them off to the side. I'm looking for six times what is 378. Hmm, I know six times 50 is 300, so I can write the 50 here and then subtract 378 minus 300. That gives me 78. Next, I know that six times 10 is 60, so I can write the 10 over here and then subtract 78 minus 60. That gives me 18. I know six times three is 18, so I can write the three here. And when I subtract the 18, I won't have any left over. So to find my answer, I just add 50 plus 10 plus three, which equals 63. So my answer is 63. And that is all you need to know about quotients and remainders. Have fun with the problems.